go on YouTube. Today is just a simple Slim Jim antenna. It's going to be a quick how-to video. I got my coax cable here. I already got a SMA female connector end on. And then before I started this video I already went ahead and pre-sliced my end here. And then I've got an old antenna mount that I'm going to use to mount it up. We've got a piece of 42 inch long uh, coax, or not, not coax, but a PVC um, coated steel cable. I can find my words there for a second. Uh, 42 inches long, that's what we'll be starting with. Got my little diagram here. I'll put a picture in to show you the diagram. Okay, so our first measurement here, so we're going to need the length of E, which is 12.07 inches, so 12 inches, I almost just started bending it away, <laughs> alright, okay, Stay on the end there. Okay. So 12, right about there. A nice 90 degree bend. There we go, like that. Okay. And then our distance in between would be C, and that is half an inch. Another 90 degree go downwards. Okay. And then we're going to go length A in here. That is. 18.47 inches. So, almost 18 and a half inches. Okay. Let's give it a double quick double measurement just to be sure Okay, my phone ran out of storage for a second. Alright, let's continue this bend. 90. Not sharp enough. Okay, distance half inch again. Okay. 
distance, so you use 12. So then we're going to go to distance B, which is 6.15 inches. This one. So this one we're just simply going to cut. So let's see. 6.15. Right there. Perfect. That is the length we want right there. Is the gap? Let's see. Point two. Ah, right on the money. Okay. So now we're gonna straighten this one out a little bit better. And now right here, I'm going to need, so go up 0.6 inches. We just gotta strip this little spot. I'll strip this real quick. Okay, got those a little separated. So now. my coax and I'm just gonna put this sleeve oh it goes over the big one okay run that through like so this and then we get the positive terminal or the center terminal the short one so many my pliers for bend right here I'm gonna crimp this down Okay, now I'm going to get this on a little mount, on this mount right here. Anyway, that's pretty much how you do the whole antenna. So that's ready to go. But I'm going to get it on this mount right here, and then I'm going to get it mounted outside, and we'll give it a little test just to demonstrate. Okay, she's got a mount. She's ready to go. And this is about 15, 16 feet of cable. Alright, let's get her mounted and tested. 
Okay. Uh, it's on a little tripod for you to test. Here we go. WRU Echo 980. Can I get a signal check on a. Let's see, what is this? This is a. Not a J pole, this is. A Slim Jim antenna. Alright, I moved it over just a little bit. Does that help at all? That sounds much better. Awesome, copy that. Thank you very much, Tom. Under that. WRKX 466, Don Kane. WRU Echo 980. Josh, and I'll be clear. So there we go. Works pretty good. I just had to move it over a little bit and get a better signal. But yeah, there we go. I forgot the name of the antenna for a second. <laughs> that was pretty funny. So yeah, um, there you go. Please leave a like, subscribe, share with your friends. And yeah, there we go. Slim Jim antenna.